Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a corporate distribution. Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a CPA simulation that deals with corporate distribution. When we have a corporate distribution, we have to determine whether that distribution is a taxable dividend, non-taxable distribution, or something else, usually a capital gain. So those are the three categories taxable dividend, non-taxable contribution, and capital gain. Before sitting for the CPA exam, you have to be very familiar with this topic because you're going to be tested on this topic heavily. Before I start, I would like to remind you, on my website, farhatlectures.com, whether you are an accounting student or a CPA candidate, especially if you are a CPA candidate, I can help you with your CPA preparation. I cannot replace your Becker, your Roger, your Glime, or your Wiley. What I can do is I can emphasize, I can explain the material in a much better in-depth manner than these CPA courses. I don't replace them. I wish I can. I can only supplement them. I can add 10 to 15 points to your CPA exam if you add Farhat lectures. So here's the risk that you are taking. Are you willing to take your chances, pay this nominal fee for the first month to check out if my material will help improve your score, help improve your knowledge so you can do better on your CPA exam. That's my challenge to you. If you're willing to take that risk, go ahead because you can cancel. If you don't like it, you can cancel, but you would lose your first month, but you can cancel any time. Also, if you're an accounting student, I have additional courses, not just taxes. Please connect with me on LinkedIn and on LinkedIn, you can see my LinkedIn recommendation for people who already used my lectures use my resources to pass the cpa exam please like this recording share it if it's helping you it might it means it might help other people follow me on instagram and facebook so let's go ahead and work this exercise so this exercise is asking us to determine the taxable amount non-taxable distribution and capital gain in each of the following cases independent cases so once a corporation makes a distribution we have to determine whether that distribution is taxable for the shareholder not taxable for the shareholder what's going on now from the irs perspective guess what the irs they want to treat every distribution as a taxable dividend why because they want to get their money they want to get their taxes why? Because if, it, if it's not a taxable distribution, it might be non-taxable distribution. And for you as the shareholder, you want everything to be considered non-taxable. Non-taxable, it means you don't have to pay taxes. It means tax-free. And you would like this. The shareholder would like this. The IRS does not like this. So they would always like to tell you this is a taxable dividend. Then it could be considered a capital gain. So what are the rules? Here's the rules. To the extent that you have earnings and profit, to the extent that you have EMP, okay? So to the extent that you have EMP and you make a distribution, it is taxable. Once you don't have EMP, once your EMP is depleted, you used up all your EMP, your EMP down to zero, any distribution and access to EMP, so this is a greater than EMP, greater than EMP, then it becomes tax-free. It's not really tax-free. What they're doing is nah, tax-free in a sense, non-taxable distribution. Why is it tax-free? It's important to understand why is it tax-free. Okay, that's fine. You can memorize it's tax-free. The reason it's tax-free is because here they are assuming they are returning your basis. So this is called ROC, return of capital or return of basis. If you want to use the word basis, return of basis. So anything that an access to EMP, it's return of basis. Now, you don't have unlimited amount of basis. You might have $5 or $5 million or 5000 Once that return, once your basis is depleted, because as they, as they give you back your money in form of distribution, your basis start to go down. Your basis could go down to zero. Remember, your basis could only go down to zero. Once you reach that zero, if they keep on giving you more money this in form of distribution, then it becomes capital gain again it, you, it goes back to being taxable uh, on a, if, as, as capital gain okay so those are the three things first emp once emp is depleted it's tax free once the bases are depleted then it becomes a capital distribution so let me let me show you the order here taxable first to the extent of emp taxable tax free to the extent of bases capital gain 
okay then it becomes capital gain once your emp and basis are depleted so let's go ahead and look at this exercise and start to work the problem corporate emp of 10300 this is how much we have earnings and profit shareholder basis of 11300 distribution of 5650 so this is how much we distributed well guess what we have plenty of emp since we have plenty of emp that distribution is fully taxable what is the non-taxable portion nothing what's the capital gain nothing scenario two distribution of now those are independent scenarios ten thousand and fifty dollars good your emp is eleven thousand fifty excellent well it's not really good from a taxable perspective but the whole thing is taxable the whole thing is taxable ten thousand fifty is taxable non-taxable distribution is zero capital gain is zero now on the cpa exam remember to fill out those zeros remember to fill out those zeros don't keep them blank because filling out those zeros you tell the ai cpa and the testing uh, software that you understand portion of that is non portion of that distribution is a non-taxable and and non-capital gain so you want to make sure you put those zeros don't ignore this okay very important extremely important you would lose points for nothing and you don't want to lose any points especially on simulations now could this could this topic be tested in the form of a multiple choice of course i can turn this into a multiple choice question and ask you you know what is the dividend what's the taxable dividend and i'll give you four options or what's the non-taxable distribution and one of them will be zero so so this is what i try to tell you always that a simulation is no more than a multiple choice and a multiple choice is no more than a simulation they are presented differently now sometimes what they do is they give you exhibits and the reason they give you exhibits i understand the fear of exhibits the reason they give you exhibits is because they assume in the real world when you go out to the real world in the real world you are not going to be presented with a question in a form of a multiple choice or even a simulation like this in the real world you're going to be dealing with forms you're going to be dealing with source document with evidence for example they might give you a 1099 the iv 1099 dividend it has the same information as this problem except it's presented in a form so you have to be familiar also with the forms you know how familiar you have to be familiar enough now the people who are working in taxation like like if you are a first year staff accountant work in taxes you'll be extremely familiar with those forms but for a college students well depending on which textbook they used in college there are certain textbooks that are called form-based tax textbook so they teach you the taxation in using forms other textbook most textbook they don't use form-based they only teach you the theory okay now on my website i try to touch on both and um, eventually down the road i'm planning to start a uh, tax-based form and the reason is i want to do this is because i have a lot of international students they, they that never set a foot in a u.s classroom so they're not familiar with the u.s tax system so down the road that's my plan is to teach the course from a form perspective so this way you are familiar with the practical aspect of it because this is what this is how they trick you if you are an international student they trick you with those forms it doesn't matter let's keep going scenario three distribution of 18200 okay of that we have corporate emp 14600 wow so they gave us more money than the earnings and profit well guess what then the first thing is only 14600 so think of it this way so they distribute 18200 we said okay 14600 of it is dividend taxable dividend now the remaining well the remaining is uh, the, whatever the remaining is it's going to be less than 6500 the remaining is 3600 3000 whoops 3600 the remaining well we have enough shareholder basis therefore the remaining is non-taxable the remaining is non-taxable that, that's it we accounted for this 14600 plus 3600 equal to 18200 we're done so capital gain is zero the fourth scenario 33,300 in distribution we only have 19,100 in corporate EMP well the taxable amount is 19,100 well again let's do this 33 let's let me erase this so we're starting with 33,300 of distribution 
33,300. We deducted 19,100. So we still have to account for the remaining. So let's see what the remainings are because the remaining could be taxable, non-taxable, and the, 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 the nature of the taxation could be different. So what remained is 13,900. Well, I don't have enough basis of 13,900. I only have enough basis of 12,800. Therefore, I'm going to consider of the remaining 12,800 as basis, return of basis, which is non-taxable. And after I do that, the remaining is 1,400. The taxpayer will consider this capital gain. It's basically they're given, they gave you back all your money and they're giving you back more. They gave you all the profit. They gave you back your basis and now they're giving you more money. It's like you're making a profit from actually selling the stock. You there is a capital gain. Now this topic, again, as I told you, it's on my website. It's I, I cover this topic, corporate distribution from A to Z. Yes, other CPA companies, they look at this, they review it, but they assume you have a, b a base knowledge. Sometimes if you don't have that base knowledge, strong base knowledge, it's going to seem confusing. It's not that confusing. Check out my website, farhatlectures.com. If not for anything, check out to see how well is your university doing on the CPA exam because I do have this data and I also have other accounting courses. Again, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, like my YouTube, share them. Once again, the reason I ask you to like them and share them because if they benefit you, okay, this is a free YouTube, it might benefit other people and it might benefit me. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. Good luck, study hard, and your CPA is a long-term investment. It's 20 to 30 years, if not 40 years in your career. Take it seriously. Good luck and study hard.